Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. I am your fave nurse B. Have you considered going into healthcare, going into nursing? And you're like, I don't know if it's for me. Um, I'm not sure if I fit into that world. Do I have what it takes to be a nurse? If that's you, this video is gonna give you a list of characteristics or skills that I believe are inherent in good nurses. Now, of course, you know, it is what it is. It does not matter if you don't possess any of these, you probably will go on become a nurse and do fantastic. But this is just from my observation as being a nurse for over five years and being in healthcare for about seven to eight years, I wanna say. So yeah, let's get right to the video. So one of the first skill sets that you need to have in order to be a good nurse is communication. Now I know this seems like kind of like, uh, like super basic, but you all, a lot of people don't know how to talk to folks. They are quick to get into an attitude. They're quick to get, you know, take offense to something. People are quick to jump to conclusions. Um, when in reality, it's just like, you kind of have to remove yourself from the situation and just get the work done. So communication skills is super important now because as a nurse, you're gonna be talking to patients. You're gonna be talking to patients, family members and friends. You're gonna be talking to MDs. You're gonna be talking to other healthcare professionals such as other nurses, people over you, people that um, you supervise. You're gonna be talking to people in completely other departments like dietary and freaking the laundry department like you're gonna be talking to people like across the board you're gonna be having to communicate with other people so you need to know how to talk in a professional way in a way that gets your point across in a way that is you know pleasant too because it's just like there's so much drama in healthcare and it's it can be a very stressful work environment so if you know how to talk to people and you know how to you know take criticism or feedback from others you will do well, especially if you know how to bite your tongue when it comes to dealing with certain people. Now I know people are like, I'm not about to get respected by nobody. I'm not gonna get, well, I'm not about to get disrespected from anybody. I don't take disrespect. I get that, but it's just like, sometimes you just have to get things done. And it's just like, it is what it is. Just put your ego to the side, put their ego to the side and just make it happen because that's pretty much what it comes down to in this field. Now I'm not saying get, you know, get stepped on and just deal with it, but there's a time and a place to you know fight certain battles so communication is extremely extremely important good effective communication is extremely important number two is taking responsibility about a situation and then acting on it so in healthcare like i said you're going to be communicating with a lot of people so that means there's a lot of people that are going to be involved when it comes to patient care now of course this video is me talking talking mostly about direct patient care but this kind of can go with any part of nursing if you all don't know nurses just don't do direct direct patient care like there's some nurses who never ever see a patient but at the end of the day there's a lot of people that are going to be taking care of a patient or a part of that patient's care plan or whatever the case may be. And there's going to be times and there's a lot of different shifts because healthcare is 24 freaking seven, right? Especially if you're working in a hospital or a long-term care facility. Healthcare goes on and on. And there's going to be situations where you are going to be, it's going to be your shift or your day to be there and something's going to happen and you're going to know for sure that it's not your fault but you're the only person there the if there's an issue the patient or the patient's family or whomever doesn't care if it's your fault or not they just want someone to do something about it and i've heard patients families or patients in general say i don't care who did it i just want somebody to do something about it and so you have to take it upon yourself to just take responsibility not oh i did it so let me do something about it no it happened this is the effect of it towards my patient let me go ahead and do this, that, and the third. You have to act on it. Take responsibility and act on it. And then from there, you can communicate with somebody in management. Hey, this happened. I'm not sure who did it, but I just want to let you know that such and such happened. I did X, Y, and Z. Uh, this still needs to be done because I didn't do everything. No, but you know, take responsibility. Don't just keep pushing stuff over to the next shift, pushing stuff over to the next person. Now me, I'm an agency nurse, so I do not work in a facility as an actual employee. I am a contractor. I go to, I'm a contracted employee. So I might work somewhere once and never go back. And there might be a plethora of things going wrong. And I can only do what I can do. And it's plenty of times I was talking on the phone, I say, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm a temp here, but I'm not sure what their policy is on things, but I will make sure that I communicate with someone and they'll get back to you, you know, that type of thing. Because it's something I cannot do. I know patients, family get irritated, but 
hey, I don't work here, so I don't know what to tell you. All I can do is what I can do on my shift. I can do what I can do. I'll do up to my point of what I can do, but there's only so much that I can do. So in those situations, you know, I could easily just be like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a work regular worker. You're going to have to call tomorrow. Or I could try to at least show that, you know, I'm trying to take some type of, type of responsibility and do something for the patient or the family or whatever the case may be. So number two is take responsibility and act on it. Act on whatever the issue is to the most, you know, to the best of your ability. So number three is to be organized. Woo. Ooh. Now, you may already p possess some of these skills already. It's just once you start working, that's when you can build upon it and actually grow in your ability to do these things. So, of course, don't think that you have to come into healthcare with these skill sets. But these are the skill sets that help you to be better as a nurse. Um, so to do better as a nurse. So being organized like I said there's a lot of people coming at you and there's a lot of things going on as a nurse there's a lot of different moving parts um whether it's direct care to patients paperwork that needs to get done people that you have to call follow through appointments that you have to make um concerns about a patient you have you know CNAs or patient care techs coming to you about stuff you have other nurses coming to you about stuff you have families coming to you about things you have um, management coming to you about stuff so you have to be organized and know how to get through your shift so you can get things done now of course this is definitely something time management that's something that comes with doing the job and just doing it and growing and just being like okay let me prioritize my shift and things like that but overall you have to learn how to be focused and prioritize your work and be like, okay, I'm gonna get X, Y, and Z done now, then I'm gonna do this. You know, you have to learn how to be more organized as a nurse. It's extremely important because, you know, you're dealing with people's lives and, you know, you have a license to protect as a nurse. I know you hear that a lot, I, I'm trying to protect my license, you know, but it's very true. This is a license that you have to protect. And, you know, you can always get sued, something can happen and you wanna make sure that you are doing the best you can you are keeping things in line to the best of your abilities i know it's it's tough y'all it's tough but being organized having some type of system in place and working on your time management is extremely important as a nurse so my next skill set is to be flexible um, and be able to easily adapt so i know some people are like i don't like change i like to be on the same uh, I like to work, especially in long-term care, they like to work on the same floor every single day, have the same patients every single day, have the same routine every single day. If there's any type of wrench in their situation, they gonna have to stay over two or three hours past their shift because they just are so used to doing things in a structured way all the time. Now, that helps you as far as being organized, great, but you need to learn how to be flexible and adapt in nursing because you can come in and think you're going to work on one floor, they throw you to another floor. You can come and work two hours on one floor and then they be like, hey, I need you to go over here and work. You are being constantly pushed around. You can come in and be like, hey, I need you to pass meds today. There's going to be so much changing in healthcare, so much changing in your day-to-day -day job. You need to learn how to just be like, okay, roll with the punches. It can be frustrating, it is what it is, but that's part of the job. That's part of the job is that it fluctuates. Just like how your life fluctuates, the lives of your patient's life is gonna fluctuate. And then healthcare itself is just, I don't know, it's it's job security, you know, and there's certain things that happen no matter where you go. Cause at me as an agency nurse, I know there's certain things I'm gonna do no matter where I'm at. I'm gonna make sure that, okay, is there any AccuCheck I have to do? I'm gonna make sure, okay, what pain is need to be made. but each place is totally different and is ran totally different so you need to be easily uh, able to adapt to situations and don't get too hung up on well I'm a nurse I only do this it's been times I've gone in to work a shift and they're like hey Brandy we're getting ready for a state to come in the building do you mind doing special projects we need you to go through and make sure all the skin assessments are done on all the patients in the building like what the heck yes that's a that's something that nurses do but I came here to work my shift and leave but hey, I love doing special projects because I like to be able to do stuff and nobody come ask me no questions. I can just get it done. I ain't got to be nobody nurse today. I ain't got to answer no nothing. I could just go in, do it, and leave. Oh my gosh. I love that type of work. That's so me. But anyways, yeah, so it fluctuates. It changes. And you'll see that when you're in nursing school. One minute you got clinicals over here and then the clinicals over there. Then they cancel the clinicals. You got to come up there. It's just you have to learn to adapt 
to it and don't be so stuck in your ways. Now, I know some people that's very, very hard for them. They get nervous, they get anxious, they feel like they can't do it, and they just hate change. They just hate it. Okay, where the tourists at out there? I know y'all be like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but it's so important to have that skill set. And then the last thing is just overall, you have to have compassion. Um, I know this is kind of like a cheesy thing, but so many people say, I went into healthcare because I just want to help people. Like, you need to still hold on to that ideal that you have of what healthcare is about. It really is about helping people, taking care of people when they need people the most to take care of them, when they need someone the most to take care of them. You are there to do it. You are there to be a friendly face for them. You are there to be a, you know, a hand to hold, somebody to um just somebody to take care of them make them feel more comfortable with the situation i mean just think about any time that you've ever been sick or any time that your child or loved one has been in the hospital you're extremely vulnerable that your body might be exposed you know all of your health uh history is exposed people are constantly asking you questions people are constantly coming in the room people are constantly in your space and on top of that you know you have a whole life out there that you have to go back to or that you're hoping that you'll be able to go back to and you're not there right now so who knows what's going on in your life so the patients that you're taking care of are very vulnerable they're very needy and it's your job to be there and be like hey i'm here for you what do you need like you're there to be a nurse to nurse them back to health so Compassion is extremely, extremely important because you don't know what people are going through. And I know it's very difficult right now because some people, like, you know, the, the whole nature of healthcare has changed. It's went from patient care to like customer service and paperwork. Like it's really what it has turned into and insurance companies not wanting to pay nothing for nothing. So it's, it's become, the landscape of healthcare has changed, but the heart of it is compassion, taking care of people and getting people better getting people in a better state of health. Hopefully, that's what we would love to do, but who knows, y'all, they just be giving people some band-aids, a pill, and keep them pushing. But that's a whole other video. But I hope you all found this video helpful. Let me know, do you have any other skill sets that you wanna add to the list? Do you feel like, you know, you fit the criteria to being a nurse? Of course, there's like way more things, but I think those are kind of like the basic things uh, that you should consider before you go into healthcare. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my website, yourfavnurseb.com. I do have study materials available on there. And also check me out on Instagram. I always on Instagram posts and stuff. And you can go ahead and check out my other channel as well for lifestyle life. Lifestyle life. So just look at my lifestyle. All right, you all. Thanks for watching. Peace.